Brief DVM is coming at you today with the review finally on the 5083E that we brought out to the farm. Uh, this is a John Deere made in uh, Augusta, Georgia, United States. It's our replacement to the 5055E, um, which was um, not a cab tractor in the model we had. Um, we like this one a lot. This is a used tractor. It's um, a 2011 model, I think. Maybe 2012, I can't remember which. but. Um, it was made in 2011, I can tell you that much. Its original price was uh, $41,000. Obviously, we got it for less than that. She's toting the 4.5 liter four-cylinder diesel. And on the back end, she's got the nice uh, three-point um, with the lift controls and so forth. Inside here, as we walk up into the cab, uh, you can tell it's uh, it's been taken pretty good care of. So we're pretty pleased with how it looks inside. Um, really nice air suspension seat in it lot of nice visual space to look out of. I really like that. Um, the tractor really um, ergonomically is designed well. As I fire it up here, you get a look at all the lights, the display. It's pretty easy to operate. Um, you know, fuel gauge, temp gauge. It's got a power reverser transmission. I really like that. Basically, when I'm in a gear, all I got to do is slow up and I can switch from reverse to forward. Kind of like I just had a throttle there, key. Um, on this side, we've got our lights, which is really nice. Got high and low beams, um, turning them on and off pretty easy. And then we've got our front wiper um, with uh, washer fluid. And then you have, again, your high and low for your uh, front beams too. Um, got blinker on it, which is nice, right and left. And then, of course, I uh, got a spinner on the steering wheel to make it easier to steer, but it is um, a power steering tractor, which is nice. It has tilt, does not have a telescoping uh, steering wheel. Foot throttle here on the on the right side with uh, dual brakes, right and left, and then a standard clutch on your left foot. It's got a nice rubber matted floor, which is really comfy. On this side, we've got our internal fuse box panel here. Um, pretty easy access; you can get in there and change out the fuses. And then you got a nice cup holder, and uh, you know all the windows open, which is good. And I like them so that they open so the breeze pulls in. Automatic lighting, so when the doors open, the lights are on. Air conditioning, heat, visor, what more could you ask for? Rear view mirror, comes standard. Heat and air in it, oh, that's just a blessing when you're out making hay. There's just nothing to discuss about that. It's just great. Got a Jensen radio in it. Um, again, opening side uh, windows, which is good. I like that a lot. On this side, you got your, uh, you know, hydro hydraulics in the back. It's set for three, but I only have two in place. Then obviously we've got the PTO with the float, and then of course the uh, on switch. Cup holders, rear wiper blade button here is what I've got. Um, some nice cubbies there, and the back window opens too. And you get a lot of nice view out the back window, um, but one thing I really like is the bottom drop window. It lets me really see the implement in the PTO. Nice feature. I've got my hook up there for my uh, John Deere baler, um, the Baylor Pro. It's got an ergonomic handle for the lift on the bucket, which is good. Um, it's really nice, just pretty much any direction you want to go. Got uh, one through four in park on the uh, first uh, gear shifter, neutral in the middle. And then of course we have uh, the range, which is ABC, and then neutral down there. On the other side of me, on the left side, we've got the four wheel drive, so uh, engaged or not engaged. So. I do like it. Uh, the tractor runs really nice. Uh, we've had it now for about a month. It's time to get a review on it. On the outside of the tractor, probably one of the nicest things I like about this tractor is the 33-gallon, actually I think it's about 33.5-gallon fuel tank. And they even were nice enough to chain the uh, cap on it so I don't lose the darn thing. But it's in such a nice, convenient location. You don't have to go around to the back of the tractor and climb on something. Nice toolbox storage right in the front, right off where the bucket is. Just love it. Um, this tractor does have fenders. I have them off for the moment in the summer. Um, they're very easy to slide in with a pin and take off. And then in the front right now, I've got the um, forks on it, but uh, had multiple different things on it already. Another thing I like, the oil filter is right there. Plug in for the oil, um, the engine heater, excuse me, right there. It's easy access to the fuel. On the other side, got the hydraulics here, got the lights on top, which are easy to adjust, both the ambers and the beams on it. Um, as you can see, that's the little opening there for the AC and the AC filter there. I got the lights on the back, which are easy to adjust. I just love how everything is so easily accessible on this tractor. It makes it nice. 
again, we're going to take it out and show you some footage. This is actually just a little snippet of the footage when we were um, cutting hay with it. Um, this tall grass hay for horses cuts really nice with a, with a 350 John Deere um, sickle bar mower. So I'll just show you a quick clip of that. There's another video that we have out of it actually doing a lot of cutting. So I won't spend too much time on that. This tractor, in case you're wondering, um, weighs about 7,200 pounds. Here we are raking with it right now as we uh, keep it in um, economy throttle is what it's in right now. And it's raking with a John Deere about 9 foot um, cutter rake, which is really nice. It just uh, all whips it there off the side. That's uh, been my favorite rake. It doesn't twist it into rows. It just piles it up. It's very easy to use. pulls nicely. And of course, it's PTO driven. So if you go over a bump where it snags the ground, the PTO just forces it through there, which is really nice. This thing's got a wheelbase of about 85 inches, so it's a nice row cop tractor in that regard. Again, the steering's um, hydrostatic. The brakes are independent wet disc brakes, which are really nice. They're tougher than it's not. I like that. Um, the final drive on this is planetary. Here we got it on the little Massey Ferguson baler out baling first crop. It just toys with this little baler. Obviously, its PTO is 65 horses. That's way more than this little baler needs. Um, we'll put it on the bigger John Deere baler here for second crop. The engine's 83 horses coming out of this beast. Plenty of power to do what we want. Uh, as you can see, that's one of the first end row bales. So yeah, it's a little scruffy, but this tractor has absolutely no problem with it. Really enjoyed working with this tractor here on first crop. It's very comfortable. This is my wife driving now. She's learning kind of how to fork bales with the spear. She maybe forked that one a little high, but she improves as the day goes on getting used to it, as you can see here. Um, bringing them into the yard and bringing them into the barn. Pretty easy to do with this tractor. Again, this tractor has pretty much got what we want. Liquid cooled 276 cc engine, 4.5 liter. Makes a nice bale, folks. Appreciate you watching. Thank you for uh, taking the time to subscribe. If you haven't, please do. It's how we show a like and support for more videos like this. Again, folks, thanks for watching.